So I want to start by giving the biggest trigger warning about this whole situation, about this 911 call. But before I even released the 911 call, I wanted to say that I watched the interview with the Mormon podcast and Jesse Hildebrandt and her revelations about the abuse that she went through with Jody. And I just want to say how similar, and I'm sure a lot of us have probably pointed this out already, the similarities between Russell's abuse to Jesse's abuse, withholding of food, duct tape, the having to run away. I, I definitely recommend everybody to go watch it. I'm going to link that video in the description box. You guys can watch that whole interview. It is, I'm just telling you, biggest trigger warning. I'm going to go ahead and play the 911 call. I want you guys to tell me your thoughts in the comments. Do you guys find similarities to what Jesse has said, what the 911 call is saying about the duct tape, not eating, he was given a banana and he was eating this banana during the time that the um, dispatcher was on the phone. This is such a sad situation overall. I would like to review Jesse's interview. Let me know if you guys want me to do that because um, I have some thoughts about it, but I just want to give you guys a trigger warning. The 911 call is very concerning. Exactly as well. what's happened. I just had a 12 year old boy show up here at my front door asking for help. And he's a. Uh, said he had just came from a neighbor's house, and we know there's been problems at this neighbor's house. He's emaciated, he's got tape around his legs, he's hungry, and he's thirsty. Okay. Did he, is your door locked? No, I'm sitting outside with him on the, on the front patio. Okay, cool. And he asked us to call the police. What's so he's okay? very afraid. Okay, and... Um, are the neighbors out of their home, or is anybody looking for them that you can see? No. We are homes are far enough away. Uh, I'm not sure. How did you get out of the house? Uh, Orange. He said he just left through the porch at the neighbor's house. Um, her name is Jody Hildebrand, and she lives two doors up the street. Yeah, out here in Cayenne, the houses are far apart, so he walked just under the block to get to our house. He, he rang my doorbell and asked me to call the police. Does he seem to be under the influence of drugs or alcohol? I don't think so, but he's very thirsty. and. Uh, need an ambulance? I don't think he needs an ambulance. I'll let the cops decide that, but his ankles are taped up and he won't tell us why. He has duct tape around each ankle. Yeah, there's sores around him. I think there's a good chance he's been... Uh... He also has... Oh, and he has them around his ankles. I mean, his wrists as well. Okay, this boy has been... <laughs> this kid has obviously been... I think he's been... He's been detained. He's been... He's obviously covered in wounds. Okay. Let's get the paramedics headed over that way, okay? Oh, that's a good idea, too. Let's see. Um, has he told you where his mom or dad are? I haven't asked him that. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. You know where your mom is? I really got you. Yeah, I'm sure that, that doesn't matter, son. Do you know where your mom and dad are? Well, I feel I don't know where my mom is, but I do know where my dad is. He's not anywhere here. No, no, no. Okay. No, he doesn't seem to. He says he knows where his mom is, but... Uh, he doesn't know where his dad is. That's correct. I don't know where my dad is. Is his mom home? He just says he doesn't live around here. Okay. Is his mom yeah, in the area? And is your mom around here? You've seen her lately? <laughs> He doesn't know where she is right now. Does he know his mom's name? What's your mom's name? Ruby, Ruby Frankie. Ruby Frankie is his mom's name. Okay. How do you spell the last name? F R A K E. F R A N K E. And does she live in the area? No, I'm not sure where she lives. He's uh, he's trying to help us, but he's That's okay. 
We don't want to stress them out too much. The officers will go over all these questions with them anyway. I just want to stay on the phone with you until we get some help there, okay? Um, can you ask him if any other children were in the home he came from? Okay. Was there any other kids up at Jody's house? Anybody else? No, I, I was. Uh, yeah, this is the 30th of, uh, or excuse me, the 29th of August. It'll be the 30th of August. 10 and 14, and they're, they're still at this house. That's, um, are they tied up as well? What's the uh, deal with, are they, um, are, are they being held? Are they, are they, do they have wounds on them as well? Nothing bad going on with them. Okay. Okay, so they're they're able to walk around the house and everything. And, well, okay, he says everything's fine with them. Green salt. Okay. He says he uh, what's happened to him is his fault. Oh dear. They're coming to you as quick as they can. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I really want to. I just want to make sure. He's fine if I got him sitting here. My wife, he got him water and something to giving him something to eat because he's really he's hungry and uh, the young man. He's had him, he's here in his stocking feet, so he he escaped. <laughs> well, I'm glad that he was able to make it to you on the way. He could be safe. They should just be pulling up now. Let me know when they're with you, okay? Will do. You did good. Enjoy that banana, okay? Yeah, he did the right thing. Ago, so he might be waiting for his partner. I'm not sure. Jody up there right now. Yeah. Okay. Jody Hildebrand is up there right now. So she may come looking for him here soon, but uh, she's not gonna. Obviously, I think we need the cops here as soon as possible. I'm just asking my dude. Yeah, she's a uh, she's a bad lady. We didn't realize how bad. It sounds like he's making a phone call real quick um, to a sergeant. He is going to head up. Okay. All right. Well, if we have to take him inside the house, we will. We just, we're just sitting outside right now because we have chairs out here and it was convenient. That's okay. Um, if anything, he's sitting out down your driveway and keeping an eye on the house. So if that's where you feel safe, that's where the child feels safe, then let's just stay where you're at. Yeah, doing this. Yes. Does he have anything with him? But, no, he's wearing a long sleeve shirt and shorts, and uh, it's uh, way too big for him. Can you tell me um, what color the shirt and shorts okay. are? Okay, the, uh, the ambulance is here. Okay. So. Are they with you? No, they're, they're just not getting out of the truck. Okay. okay. I'll go ahead and I'll let you go then. You did a great job. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Bye. I'll see you guys on the next one. Rabbits out.